Right here we are at Moore Farms, uh, teaching 101 uh, um, This is a good idea for uh, finding these type of plants in uh, like a roadside ditch. Um, it's kind of like DOT planting when uh, you're planting without irrigation. And all these types of plants are good for it. Most important part though is to uh, water, uh, pretty much soak the plants before you plant them. It's best to it's best for the roots to engage in, or if they're already wet, it's easier for them to engage in a new new soil, uh, especially some back to the soil. That's what we're doing right now, soaking these plants. And so the, the plants we're doing for this um this area that are on it's all it's all relatively cheap little plugs. We don't have irrigation. It's a whole lot easier to get a little plant to live than a big plant to live. We have these paper cup grown plants of love grass. This is Irigrostis. We have um these this is Decaristi, which is a native. This happens to be a select from Mexico, but very drought tolerant. Lime grass, I don't know where this is from. I think maybe it's Asian, but again it's very drought tolerant and very aggressive. So it's great for a roadside planting or a ditch planting, but it would be terrible for a garden plant. Um, some of them you can see have already... Well, there. You see that one is already starting to run, and that's how aggressive it is. It's going through the plastic. Um, and these little grasses, like I said, they're relatively cheap, so they're um, it's good for doing a mass planting like this. We also have for a few flowers Nephophia, which is a South African plant. This is Nephophia snowdenii, Nephophia thompsonii snowdenii, and it's a runner too. You can see how it's trying to run out of this pot, and that's all. And then uh, she's just finished doing the, the pre-irrigation. The main part of the main reason we did that was to wet everything, not necessarily give them nutrients. And Jesse, our tools are just hand trials and um, a slow-release fertilizer. One of these fertilizers that will release for the next three months. All right, my name is Ashish, and I'm uh, gonna be digging you a hole here. You just give it a good whack. Perfect, Ashish. Coming through with uh, some fertilizer. A little bit in there. Make sure the uh, root ball isn't all. Twine like that. Tear apart. Put your mud. And then Paisley. Come in with the mud. Are you putting only mud? You're not putting pushing that dirt back up? Uh, yeah, yeah. Push that dirt first. Let's put mud in between, kind of. So that kind of cements it in, and you're pushing everything in really good so you get good root contact. Perfect. So you put some long grass. And cover up, yeah, just like you did, Ann Paisley, covering up the top of that root ball kind of prevents it from drying out.